Can you guys hear? Okay, yeah, we're here and we're live. Okay, guys, thank you for uh, taking the time to watch this. Uh, on the line, we've got Andrew and Kelly. Uh, we're the proud uh, uh, team leaders for the team that um, is either watching this or you want to be part of. And on the line today, we've got two of the new team who just on TC this week in our doobly business. Uh, big hand to Austin Nelson from uh, California and Damien uh, Toomey from Western Australia, here in Australia. So, welcome guys. Um, welcome to the Hi. Hi hey, Andrew, great to be here. Hey Kelly. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm waiting for you to say something. I don't know what to say. Going to get you guys to say hi. No worries. You have any technical problems there, Austin? Still? Okay, I'm hearing you now. Okay. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't hear anything you just said. <laughs> just say hi. Just say hi at this point. How's it going? <laughs> okay, thank you. Excellent. Okay, so guys, what we're going to do today, um, I'm going to pick these guys' brains, ask them a few questions, get them to share what has been as part of our team and their journey on, in Doobly, our, the business we're in, and um, what's really got them excited. And then uh, Kelly and I are both going to share just a little bit of um, where we're going, what we're doing, and what we've learned, especially in this last well, almost five weeks. Mm. So very excited to have you here watching. Hope you get something out of it, and we'll go from there. So, any, anything you want to say, Kelly? No, you're doing no? good. Do, okay. you, do you want to interview, or you want me to? Or oh, you, how can. Do you want to do yeah, it? go for it. All right. Okay. So I'll give it over to Kelly. We're going to go with uh, Damien first. Damien, what? Uh, give us a little bit of background about yourself. How long have you been doing this crazy stuff online, and um, what attracted you to Doobly? Why Doobly? All right. Okay, sure. Um, I've been online for about, I think, a little over three years now. It's been like uh, very up and down. Andrew and yourself, Kelly, can share, you know, I'm sure you'd agree with those sort of sentiments that it's been up and down, been through one business after another. Um, you know, the next ones, this is the next big thing, this is amazing, um, this is what's going to change it all for me, you know, turn that corner, um, but I can never really get any sort of traction, um, so but I could go on endlessly with those things and how difficult it was to really um, build a team, I found in other businesses. Um, uh, the other businesses I've been involved with are very niche niche specific, um, so I only really appealed for to a certain targeted audience. Doobly, on the other hand, it appeals to the masses, and that's what really got me um, excited and interested. Um, can you guys see me okay? I'm seeing um, Austin here at the moment. So all good? All right, okay. Um, yeah, so um, as I said, the other ones are very niche specific. Um, and only appeal to a certain type of person. But this here, everyone is doing this already. You're not having to change people's buying habits. You know, so you're saying, okay, so you're doing this already. You're already shopping online, are you? Okay, so why not, you know, earn cash back at the same time? So this is something I'm really, really proud to like. And without hesitation, I can share this with my family. In fact, I can attest to it. I've done that. I've shared it with two family members, and both are very keen and interested in doing it. Um, and even they themselves, in a very quick amount of time, just just like just me saying a few things, can say it's it's different right off the bat. Um, I don't know where to start. The compensation plan is just pretty ridiculously awesome. Um, I there's so many um, angles to look at this from, but uh, I'm getting a bit lost here. Kelly, do you want to jump in and say something? Yeah, that no, that's yeah, that covers a lot. Um, yeah, that's really exciting to hear that. It, you know, like we you said, it is something that appeals to everybody. You don't have to change your buying habits. Um, you don't have to buy that juice or that lotion potion like we always say. So um, yeah, that's that's great. You know, I'm glad to hear you are having success. This is awesome. That's what we want to hear. And um, you know, how have you really changed in the last few weeks um, since you? basically achieved this amazing goal of a team coordinator. How have you seen yourself grow 
I know how we've seen you grow. Uh, Andrew and I have talked about how much you've grown as a just as a leader in um, our team. But how do you see yourself growing, though? Yeah, um, I'm glad I'm growing inwardly instead of outwardly, which is what I usually do. So <laughs> getting fatter usually. But anyway, um, was it? Yeah, yeah. It's just a different. Um, as I said, I've been just really, really comfortable with this business. It's just something that has um, I can really get behind, put my heart into it. And also, I've I've had a bit of um, advice from from my from leaders, my upline too, um, to sort of how to present this thing. And I I shouldn't really say present. I've just been simply sharing these um, webinars with people without really going into specific details and having long conversations with people because they've been really these webinars and they've really been um, selling themselves. So I just have simply followed the team's direction and I'm um, not going off on my on my own tangent and um, because you don't have to reinvent the wheel. We're all having success in here simply by sharing um, what the team worker has for us. Um, but, but yeah, it's just a different stance on it, a different belief, a um, uh, different confidence, really different energy. And I'm finding through that approach and just letting the webinars and so forth speak for themselves, um, I'm able to build a team. And um, it's looking very, it's looking up, it really is. That's fantastic. Yeah, do you want to ask him anything else, Andrew, or you want to put anything no, else with that? I don't think so, but Damien, I do have to say, um, seen massive growth mm -hmm. in your uh, posture and uh, how you're interacting with your team members and your prospects. Um, and yeah, like you said, we don't even have to sell or promote yeah. this. Um, this thing. We've got um, the resources to just share it, and people are either going to get it or they're not. And uh, if they're seeing what we're seeing, that and uh, the, the you know that view, then um, it's really yeah you, you don't even have to sell. Mm. It's just sharing, which is really cool. <laughs> yeah, it is cool. Isn't it? Yeah, fantastic. Well, thank you, Damien. Yes. Pleasure, my friend. Thanks for having me on. Yeah. All right, we're going to go to Austin now. So, Austin, tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, what attracted you to this crazy business or in Hoopley, and um, have you ever done anything online before? That's the important part we want to get to. Yeah, um, well, I was introduced from you guys, obviously, and when I just saw it from a customer's perspective mm -hmm. I've uh, actually dealt with it I made I actually made from last November through Christmas around four or five thousand dollars cash back from a different company just from and when I was looking at the numbers do, just from reselling stuff um, when I was looking at the numbers of cash back and I saw what uh, Dubly gave compared to the company that I was uh, with it was like, I mean, they would give you, Walmart would be at like 2 or 3% and uh, Dubly was at 7 or 8 or whatever it is. It's like, and then being able to be on the business side and make money off of the customers as well doing that, it would just, I mean, I was automatically, it's like, I didn't even know this was possible. Yeah, so it was just um, eye-opening right away just because I had experience with it. So um, but I've never been... Uh, I've do I've done stock options, none uh, online marketing or anything like that. But um, I've had some experience with that. I uh, coach college basketball, so a couple different things, but nothing really on online. So this is my first first time and just learning as much as possible, and just going from there. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's definitely a different world. There's a different lingo and language. I was. Multilingual now because <laughs> we use all these crazy yeah. words like rotators and conversions, and people look at us like, huh, what are you saying? So, yeah, it's uh, out for you to actually taking the leap and um, off that crazy bridge that we're on before we get online and um, just, yeah, plunging right into it and, um, you know, picking up so quick. Um, it's been great to see. And how have you seen yourself? Obviously, it's been a learning curve. How have you seen yourself grow um, as you started into like a leader, basically, and your wonderful um, team coordinator that you are now? Well, thank you. Uh, yeah, it's just 
I mean, of course, there's going to be a, a huge learning curve. I mean, probably 70% of the stuff I'd never heard of in my life. And, but um, just, just having uh, people like you guys involved and just um, showing me where to go to get the information, helping me with questions, I mean, it's made it so much easier. And I've been able to, I mean, kind of fast, I would think fast start, just quickly go through stuff that I think would take maybe a little longer in normal cases just because I can I can see the business side, I see uh, the potential in it, and I, I want it so bad to be successful, and I want to bring people along that are involved in my life, and um, yeah. Because uh, it's that you have to strive for and uh, really have that inner drive and I know Andrew and I are always talking about that, that you just have to wake up every morning if you do sleep at this, but you know, some of us do, I actually do. Um, you have to wake up every morning and just decide you're just going to do it today, and um, you're going to do whatever it takes to get to where you be as a person as far as this business goes. And yeah, anything you want to um, <laughs> Oh, look, yeah. Having uh yeah we've only really last um, about a month now mm. and you've definitely uh, grabbed the bull by the horns as they mm. say and you've uh, really done what is online marketing you know you're getting traffic you're doing whatever you need to do and now that you've reached that first you know stepping stone um, your leadership has really jumped in, uh, your team to um, basically get them up to that next level because obviously um, as we build our teams we want to make sure that they're duplicating and uh, what you're doing so that they can do it for their people as well, for their team members. So um, yeah, really uh, proud of both of you guys um, for what you mean, the results you're achieving um, and we are only just getting started. You know, we've only been in five weeks this Tuesday is when we joined up, and I know both of you were within a couple of days after that. So um, it's been an exciting five weeks, and um, it's going to be a thrilling couple of months coming up, especially with the lead up to Christmas. And uh, like you said, Austin, you know, you made all that money last year on another cashback site. So people, get, people online, so they can get you know seven, eight, ten percent or more. Cash back when there are uh, Christmas holiday shopping coming up. It's a really good place to uh, capitalize, not just on this business side, and that's a great thing about Dubly and that what you guys talk about is, but it's also the customer side as this is a real business. And yeah, I'm not going to talk about that here. There's enough uh, hangouts and videos. Um, but yeah, so. Um, yeah, no, that's exciting. So, is there anything you guys want to share that's on your mind or anything, or just um, your thoughts as well? We should probably talk about who we are. Oh yeah, we probably should. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's get. I did ask you guys, you anything first, or yeah. just keep moving. Yeah, I had a thought or two, Andrew. If it's all right. Um, yeah, yeah, I yeah. just want to stress to anyone watching how very team and family like we are in here in um, Team Wuka. Like I've had, um, in, you know, a, a, you as my sponsor, Andrew, has shown, you know, an, a, you know, interest in me and my success and therefore that's duplicated, just keeps going down the line like that. So, um, and this has helped me progress as a person, as a leader and um, I just wanted to point out just how we do care about each other. I felt a lot of love and a lot of care from the people that I'm working with here. I think that's really important. You're not just people aren't just a, a dollar sign. We're actually real people behind this. Everyday people from everyday backgrounds making this work. You know, none of us. A lot of us. You know, you don't have to be wealthy to get wealth. You get, you start from people are coming in here with nothing and making a business work for themselves. Um, probably the last thought though. There is a. A common mistake we all make as people is that we want to know everything before we get started. And um, I just want to stress that, look, just do that fire, aim, ready uh, analogy. Just just get involved there and learn and make money and course correct as you do it. Um, that's probably the best advice, you know, something that I wanted to share as well, yeah. Yeah, no, that's so true. And thank yes. you, Damien, for the comments. But um, I think the 
favourite catchphrase in our uh, big guy team room is, uh, we'll get to know I'll clean it up later. <laughs> no time to be uh, tidy at the moment, just, just do it and um, worry about the details and cleaning up all those little things uh, yeah. once we've uh, built our team. So, yeah, no, thank you. Awesome. Yeah, actually, uh, just one thing I think that's helped me. Um, whenever, whenever I've gotten down, you know, you you go through times where you're not getting any sales. You kind of get uh, down and um, running out of people to talk to. You think um, one thing that's just motivated motivated me is just go. If if you want the extra motivation, go watch another webinar. Just something to get you over that top. Just to get reminded. Okay, big picture in mind. Because if you um, if you think about the people you're not getting, um, it's just gonna haunt you day day by day. You got to think big picture. Okay, one at a time. Um, um, who who am I gonna help? Um, how am I gonna reach my goals? If you um, if you don't have that in mind, it can it can definitely eat you. And then um, I mean, most people drop out out of 30, 60 days, and really you're just that after that 31st day, you probably have that next person to just Keep the end goal in mind. Yeah, exactly, and that's yeah. that is so true, and um, and, and that's what the team's for as well. Yeah. Um, I, there was some chatter in our team Skype room, our little team Skype room last night, and you know, again, this is leader day in Australian leadership. You know, there was uh, people have those frustrations. Mm -hmm. You know, I've I've helped um, Austin, one of his guys, deal with some of that, and that's some of the stuff we're going to talk about, but. Um, you can spend great leadership in re-steering that conversation, and you know you knew what was happening because <laughs> you made the comment that I was going to come in and <laughs> say something. But yeah, you, know, you, you got it back on track. That you know, it's it's a constant process, and you know, we will get frustrated. Believe me, we all we all and we all that instant result, instant gratification, and that's what we expect today. But like you just said, Austin, you know, the second you quit, you could have been that instant away, that next person you would have talked to could have been the person that um, broke the broke the uh, the drought, so to speak. Yeah. Um, really cool picture um, that I've seen of two guys in a tunnel, and on the right side there's this massive collection of diamonds, and one guy is you know a tiny bit of dirt away from it, and he's he's, he's got his axe over his, or his pick over his job, walking away, and the other guy just hammering along. He's still got a long way to go, but they got so close, threw in the towel, probably one strike away from uh, breaking through. And we can be that person sometimes. And having a team like this, leaders like Austin and Damien and others in our group as well, uh, really um, makes it easy to keep focused and stay focused. And like you said, Austin, go and watch another hangout and see why we're doing this and be reminded of that. So thanks, guys. Appreciate that. Thank you. We want to talk about Kelly's got a couple of things. I'll go a couple of things, and then we'll get did your guys' input. Did you want to do a brief intro on who we are? Or I no? guess we can. You can go ahead. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're all over the place here, aren't we? We're enjoying the uh, live broadcast. Um, yeah. So Kelly and I, um, you know, you guys know. We'll, uh, <laughs> make boy, it short. we'll make it short and sweet, but we've been online. Probably almost about the same time Damien has since mm -hmm. about the beginning of 2012. Um, just like I shared in the our big team hangout that we had just right before this one, um, we've actually never we've never broken through. Um, we've had success. We've cut our costs. We've made a little bit of money, um, but we've never had true success. And it wasn't until this business came along, Dupli, that the whole picture came together. Um, so things like, you know, Austin, with the actual business customers having things you can talk to your friends and family about and not trying to change people's buying habits, that just made sense to us. Mm -hmm. um, our mindset changed. This is something we're going to talk on a bit more now is, you know, the mindset we have. And so the whole, I guess, everything just synergized and came together with this business and it's what's allowed us to make more money in this life five weeks, I guess, than we had almost in the last 12 months with our other business that we're involved with. So, yeah, 
that's scary. That's really scary because, um, and but we've also changed the mindset. This isn't a hobby anymore. Yeah. This is a business. This is this is it. Where this is where I'm committed. Um, and the results have come through from that. And Dana and Austin, um, and their results are compounding and going up. And uh, we've primed the pump, and now we're seeing the benefits of yeah. that. Um, so that's a bit about. Um, we're obviously part of a bigger team, who's part of a bigger team, as Team Wukar that Damien's talked about, and uh, it's very exciting and the opportunity, uh, and reach out to one of us if uh, you want to learn more if you're not part of our team and have these things. Okay, so let's go on a um, couple of things we want to talk about. Um, we've touched on, you know, Dam Damien and Austin's, um, the mindset they and their leadership, Personal development and what it kind of takes to be a leader. So if you're a team member or TLA right now, and you're wanting to um, grow and become a leader in your business, these are the kind of things that we we believe um, you need to be doing and focusing on. And then Damien and Austin, I'll get you guys to um, jump in the end and give you a lot. And then I think we'll wrap it up from there, and that'll be long enough. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Kelly, you want to start? I think one of the things that we've been talking a lot about is just how you can stay focused because it's it's very easy to get distracted when I said no, let's be honest. And um, whether it's on the customer side or the business side, one of the things like Austin said, we found that watching the team webinars, um, just being happy to the facts of why we want to be en energized about the business because um, it really is a powerful business and um, just getting immersed in some of the Skype conversations and helping people and getting help from people, getting some tips on how people connect with other people. Um, it's always important to have that kind of connecting with your teammates because obviously you know we all know the, the catchphrase you know, on the team. And um, like you've said, Damien, we are like a big family. You know, um, everybody. You know, we talk about our families sometimes. Andrew and I, um, our families think we're absolutely insane for actually. They have no idea what that is. But then, if we want people that understand, all we have to do is turn on our computer and you know talk to a couple of people on Facebook and kind of say, hey, you know, I'm not having a good day. And people like that, that are just able to build us up and. Seeing people, I know one of the things for me is seeing all the new uh, team coordinators that we're getting, you know, left and right, and all the new people coming into the business and people reaching um, sales director and our our guys, our team leaders above us, um, Albie and Lawrence, getting V. So exciting to see other people's success. I know is something that we've always been talking about and something that energizes us. Um, really focusing on, like Andrew said, is this going to be a hobby or is this going to be, are we going to run this like a business? And, um, you know, that's really an important decision that you can make and decide what your goals are going to be. Um, I know I'm just throwing stuff out there. What, what, what do you uh, think about all that, Andrew? Yeah. <laughs> I think uh, Kelly did talk about the objection thing. Yeah. I think that has come up a lot. And it does come up constantly because we're a not typically we've been an online marketing team, and we don't talk to people online. To people online but this business does lend itself to um, all forms of marketing. Yeah. Um, and because of some time constraints, if you're watching this uh, in October 2014. Um, Real um, urgency that our team has to achieve certain goals by the end of this month. And for that, and you know, again, get in touch with us if you uh, want to um, we'll learn what that is. But it's um, getting the mindset that an objection is not no. It's uh, someone making excuses for their own lack of energy, lack of focus lack of drive maybe. Um, there are legitimate objections, but you know, for the most part, we have a way of uh, with, uh, video or hangout. There's a whole lot of things you can do to overcome these objections and really break down um, the nuts and bolts, I guess, of why people 
are trying to get out of um, looking at it or something. So um, don't look at an objection. Don't dwell on someone if they're really not. There's you know another seven billion people in this world yeah, that you can go and talk on. to, move on, especially you know at the moment. But if someone's kind of nah, 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 not really interested, find out why. Ask why. Yeah. You know what's going to make you next month? <laughs> you don't have to throw. You know, what's going to make you two thousand dollars next yeah. month? What's going to make you five thousand the month after? You know, these kind of things. You know if people because um, every country around the world, there's there's people struggling, um, not being able to get jobs, not being able to do whatever. And if they can, if we can provide them a uh, an opportunity that will uh, give them the ability to find financial freedom and success, then you know we'd feel guilty of not sharing that, right? So that's that's. Um, Something to really focus. And I think one of the things too we've kind of got written down some notes here is just finding ways to provide value to people um, is a really important thing that we're always talking about in our greater team and our mid team now too is um, finding that way of basically most of the time it's stepping out of. You know, we've done videos and stuff in the past and oh man, huge first video don't go. To don't look at it. It's just it's horrible, um, but it was something that we did to step out of our comfort zone to kind of take it to the next level. And um, you know, I was watching somebody recently who said is a is a virtual handshake to people and uh, look how to connect with you, get to know you. So that's always a really powerful thing to do um, as far as attracting people. And, uh, yeah, I know. Isn't that how Albion Lawrence or something met? Yeah. So it's it's just it's a very yeah powerful. Way. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, let's jump in, guys. Uh, Damien or Austin, either, either of you got anything you want to share or? Throw? Um, actually, what I like what Kelly said about um, you know, if you're feeling down with ups and downs, and it's sort of a bit what Austin was talking about. Um, I think this on this sort of journey, you, you find you it's sort of a different way of thinking to the the majority of people. Not to not to degrade other people, but you do feel somewhat a bit lonely sometimes in this sort of journey. So it is important to um, you know uh, be a, be amongst people who share that sort of same goals, the same sort of energy, um, the same desires to change their life. Um, like that expression of that, that uh, saying where you put the, you know, the coal, is it coal in the fire? It goes hot, you take it out, it gets cold, so um, I'm a bit lost there. Uh, yeah, so you always want to be amongst those who um, have the same goals and the same um, drive trying to make and changing their life. Yeah. That's That's really... It's so paramount. I can't even express how important that is. You're right. Um, just being around like-minded people, people that kind of yeah, understand. <laughs> but um, yeah, I, I know we've we've learned so much from some of our leaders in the group. Um, Scott, Alby, Gerald. There's so many that were constantly going, "Oh man, oh he said this and that was so powerful," and it's, it's so great to be encouraged by people that have whole mindset and, and are, are doing stuff online, like you said. I mean, it's it's a different world. Just from the team teamwork uh, side, uh, just to jump on that, it's just, I mean, the last couple years, I, I've pretty much done pretty much everything alone by myself and I'm I'm really self driven as it is but when you do have that team um, somebody you can check in with um, kinda lead you if you you're getting down or or whatever it is it just it puts you right back on track um, just uh, kinda because um, everybody has knowledge in different aspects and um, 
di a different uh, viewpoint on everything. So just to combine those, and when you all have the same goal in mind, I mean that's when amazing things happen. Um, and just one thing that I've noticed from like just uh, reaching out to people, uh, just prospects, is most people just do not are are not educated on this type of stuff. They're they're I mean in school you're educated to get a job nine to five and um, get, uh, work towards retirement and um, kind of some people struggle through and kind of never never really understand and it, it works out for some people and a lot of people it's it's tough um, but just uh, I think once you really put this out in front and actually like and you're educating them and actually telling this is something possible you can actually it's you're getting cash back on something you're already gonna buy and most people you you tell them that's like oh no that's not real like that's just another scam it's like or just watch this watch the potential of this I mean it may may seem small but if you look you just get start off 10 customers just from the customer perspective you get start 10 work your way up to 100 I mean if you realize how big a potential that is I mean it's it's huge numbers once you really get into it and that once people really get educated and understand that um, point of it, I think they'll, they're more definitely more open to it. And even from the free side, it's like there's nothing, nothing to lose. Um, that's just you're, you're setting yourself. If you become open to being educated about this type of stuff, you're setting yourself up towards more, more areas in the future. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, that is so true. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Um, really appreciate those insights. And yeah, I think um, that education, yeah. not normal school education yeah. that we all expect, or um, I, I think that's the be all and end all. It's, uh, it's education once we leave school about um, things that will actually change our lives and, and I, not be dictated. And I think one of the important things too to kind of draw from that is. If you're watching this today, we all are in different places kind of as far as our life goes. Andrew and I are married. We have a six-month-old. You know, I'm constantly juggling everything, but I can still do this. That's the important thing about working online and especially in the Doobly business is it's so manageable with crazy, hectic lifestyles, even if you don't work time at a job, you know, outside your home, you can still manage all of this. Um, yeah, it's just, it's yeah. completely different. Like you said, it's not that normal, formal education, card, go home. It's just, yeah, it's yeah. great to appeal to anybody. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, so um, we're getting getting on. I just want to touch on a couple of things, and um, we'll probably do something similar to this over the next couple of weeks. Um, we'll get some other guys to do some, or other people to do some videos about their concerns they haven't done them before. But something I want to touch on uh, watching this is this is, um, like Austin just said, we're taught to go to school, get, get a good job, save for retirement. Um, getting out of your comfort zone by looking at this this as a business opportunity that take is going to take a massive mental mind shift if you don't have that thought process already in place. Um, and but it doesn't have to be um, that big. Uh, I grew up with uh, my dad was very successful and still is very successful and very well compensated for the job he does. But um, he's never been self-employed. My grand grandfather owned. Business, a business or two, but my actual my immediate family never has. And Kelly's in a very similar situation. Her parents was to this is a massive um, shift from what we were taught and um, told to do growing up. So getting out of your comfort zone, whether it's actually even taking a step into this, you're here videos doing some kind of different broadcasting or emailing or uh, marketing strategy, whatever it is, actually going and talking to people. You need to get out of your comfort zone because if you're going to have truly true success in this business, you need to do whatever it takes. Um, 
that might mean going and actually having to talk to someone. Okay, hey, got an exciting project. Want to share it with you? Would you be interested in watching a, sem a webinar for me? and getting back to me? Something like that. Um, being creative mm -hmm. is so important because if you're just going to rely on uh, traffic or traditional things that we would do as a team, there isn't the time or the uh, um, you need to move beyond that. Become a leader. This is what these guys have done and what um, has really allowed us to go from very start to sales director within 29 days was we um, we did things that um, I'm not going to talk about it here because you know some of them are you know between you know the people we deal with and nothing unethical. It's just <laughs> it sounded really dodgy. Yeah, <laughs> um, nothing crazy. Nothing, nothing. Well, it was crazy, but it wasn't anything bad. Um, but we got creative. We did. We went way out of our comfort zone, yeah. and we've done things to get us to this point and bring people along with us. Um, sometimes kicking and screaming, <laughs> but um, and I know Damien's done it as well with a couple of his guys. Um, but whatever it is, because remember, your business uh, is <laughs> your responsibility. <laughs> so I know Austin's doing stuff that his guys like crazy as well. So yeah, his guys are very lucky to have him as a leader. And um, but I think too. Is that, uh, I remember we were just talking about in our other w webinar is social proof. You know we have these Facebook pages where we have you know, our Google Plus page where people are posting about their success. And if we can take that social proof and put it into emails and broadcast those out to people, or actually take a computer and say, hey, look, all these people are making it. You know what's holding you back? You want to make it too, and um, social proof is just. You know, there's nothing better, especially in the online world. And um, you know, it's people writing exactly what they think. So yeah. it's really important to use that. And that's creative, definitely. And we were going to have a come here if I said this at the beginning. Our third point. He worked himself into the ground. <laughs> he's, uh, he's really sick, so um, but we are um, missing having him on. Uh, that is good. You guys are done doing the work, and you're now educating that to your team. So, um, that's about all we had right now. Yeah. So I just want to throw it back to Austin, Damien. Anything else you guys want to share? Um, comments uh, before we wrap this up and. Um, let it run go. Oh, sorry, Austin. <laughs> no, go for it. Um, I just wanted just to say, oh, he's back. Okay. <laughs> um, are you can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, you, you go ahead, Austin. I can't really see what's going on here. Yeah. Oh uh, no! I was just gonna. I was just gonna say, uh, uh, motivation. Um, um, just keep that at an all-time high. You, you change your mindset, you change your life. Um, that we got what a twenty? Is it twenty days until the first or something around there? Just uh, put everything as, as much as possible into that. That's. I mean, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to help my small team as as much as possible. Trying to get them into the next week or two where I'm at, and then go from there. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Yeah, um, what I wanted to say, Andrew, is um, you know, to anyone watching this, you have a, you genuinely have a real chance here to change your life. You know, and you can, anyone can truly do this. Just got to get your heart behind it. That's all to you know, to, to really. Take all the, the junk from your past and just say, okay, now is the time I'm going to actually do this. Okay, we've got to have a whole team focused on helping you. Have so much support, as Austin was saying, and, um, you know, just go for it. Just jump in and um, learn and correct along the way. Okay. 
Okay, yeah, yeah, exactly. level seven there. So, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Your, your screen just froze on us, Andrew. I couldn't, I couldn't see if you were, um, you could, you know. <laughs> Joys of technology. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, look, guys, great dread. So motivation and just putting it all in. Um, I was talking to a guy last night, and he said, "I'm throwing everything at this." I don't care if they come and repossess it all because in six weeks I'll go and buy it all back. <laughs> it's like that, that, you know, you know you're going to reach those goals. You're going to reach that income that, you know, and we're not advocating here go and sell the house and mortgage the house. Decision. We're all adults and whatever you decide to do, you need to do. But push the limits because if you don't, you're going to live in regret in potentially three weeks' time if you're watching this, you know, when we're recording it, or whenever it is after you've decided to get in, the opportunity is here. But if you don't throw everything at it that you've, you've got and just do it a hobby like Kelly and I've done business for the last three years, um, mentally at least, you know, there was a lot of money involved, but you just never got there. And Damien, you know, you never really got traction. and Not that, you know, either of us ever Partly, subconsciously, well, probably was, and this is what has changed for Kelly and I, especially. And I don't want to speak for Damien, but having, um, you know, I, I believe he's in a similar position. Um, it's just huge, and I know that Austin is throwing everything he's got at this as well. So I know his commitment is there for his team. So just one more thing, real quick. Um, that's so important what you said about your your past whatever failures, maybe not making it in business, whatever happened in the past is completely past. And this is this is what matters. And it's giving that all you can give. And um, yeah. you know, we were just watching something the other day that basically said your past not dictate your present. I mean yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's common sense, but you know, it's so easy to have those like little voices inside that tell you, you know. I'm not going to make the time, da, 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 da. just get rid of all that. Get rid of all that garbage. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, I think that's uh, long enough. Uh, yeah. Probably got longer than we thought, but there's so much in here. So, Austin and Damien, really appreciate your time, guys. Um, can't wait to see the success you're going to have in the next, uh, well, not just the next 21 days, but um, you know, months and years yes. to come as we work together. And Guys, if anyone that is watching this, uh, if you haven't heard of Doobly, get in touch with one of us and contact us. Um, and whoever's, wherever you're watching this, there's contact details below. And get uh, get into our team what this is all about and why we're so excited and we're, we're getting sleepless nights. And believe me, the end of this month is going to be... Um, a lot of sleepless nights, and it's going to be very exciting. And I've professionally felt more alive in the last uh, last almost weeks than I have for years ever, really. And I said that to someone the other day, and um, I, I meant it. So yeah. we're going to leave it there. Damien, Austin, thank you guys so much for your time, um, and we will uh, sometime. Hopefully, we'll have more people at the TC or SD level to join us. So um, excellent. Okay, that's it for now. See you guys. Thanks, mate. Thanks.